Hello, this is Michael from VR Game Truck Nebraska. Thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel. I'm going to do a quick PSR VR2 review on the fly of, um, of um, Hello Neighbor. I did a whole streaming of the whole game that you can see in my live stream. So I've worked through the whole game and I've worked it out. Uh, this game, if you could get half price for about 20 bucks, and it was on sale when I got it, I think it's worth it. I can't remember what I paid for it, but... It was cheap enough that I thought, you know, at least I'd try it out. But um, there are some things that you like them to fix. It does get glitchy at times. Sometimes the turn will stop, and that's really irritating. Other times items will get glitched and stuff. You usually can work around it. You want to save it often, and there's auto save. But I'll kind of show you. I'm just going to show you kind of the beginning and the some of the characters you deal with and then if you really want to see a lot of gameplay look at my uh live stream so anyway so we're going to break through here see there's no explanation of what to do when you start here you just put in this room it would have been nice to have like some kind of cutscene, so you have an idea of what to do but you're just stuck here not knowing what to do so but so it's harder to get going but once you figure it out it's pretty good How many complaints on puzzle? This part's pretty fun. So you're gonna be working with these groups of kids. There's one, two, three, and there's two over over there. You switch back and forth with them to solve different puzzles. They have different abilities like you could use. Like this one has slingshot. Okay. I hit these things real quick so you can see. Well, my aim is really off. There, okay. And then that one. And then that one. Okay. So you, it doesn't even tell you what you're supposed to do, but you got to open that lock to even get started with the first part of the game. So you could get, you just got to figure it out. You see this guy looking. And I actually figured this out without doing this. I just noticed, you know, that there was a button up there. But you come to here, okay, you see that something's in there. So you go hit the button. That's a girl. You can do some bag practice over there if you want. I'm just going to show you the button for the key. And then we'll leave it there. So if you hit that, it will open that. You can get the key and open that, and then you can go on. So, like I said, if you're very much into puzzle games, you know, it's worth it's worth playing. It's kind of cool and fun. They need to work on some glitches. They really got to fix this turning glitch. That gets really annoying. But just keep working with it. I, like, jump up and down, and it usually fixes it after a little bit. And if something gets glitched to the ground, you can't get it, just keep checking. It gets might get hung back up another place or put back where you put it. You might have to use an auto save to go back. But um, it's not too bad. If it wasn't for the turning, that's really what annoys me is when that turns off. So anyway, so uh, oh, PS, you know, Paul from from the PSVR 2, you know, PlayStation Parole channel or whatever. Um, gave it a real low rating. I don't think it's that low. I mean, it's a pretty good game, puzzle game, I think. Um, if they fix the glitches, you know, if they fix the glitches, I rate it like a 7 or 8, to eight game. Because it's interesting and fun for a puzzle game. Um, I think it could do with a few more cutscenes. So, like, you know what you're doing just to drive the story along. I mean, there's lots of interesting things as you go on, but they don't, like, just so you can know, especially the start, I mean, so you can know what the heck you're doing. That would be great. But with the glitches, you know, it puts the rating even lower. So I had fun with it, but I had to work with it. So I see like, a 6 That's what I'd rate it. You know, there. if you really like puzzle games, you like this. There's a lot of um, stuff that is interesting. And I had fun figuring out the puzzles. They weren't too hard for me to figure out. I got confused a few times, but you just keep working and you figure it out. So anyway, yep.
So, um, oh yeah, for the game truck for my normal range, you know, family friendliness, this is not for little kids, like, under 12. They're not going to be able to play. You know, they'll see Hell Neighbor and they'll think, oh, Hell Neighbor, you know, or whatever because of the franchise or with stuff. I never even play the original game, so I don't know what that's like. But this is definitely not an easy game for little kids to get into. They're just going to be like, what the heck do I do? So, um, <clears throat> you definitely have to have older kids and they have to have puzzle uh like really puzzle so when we talk about family friendliness we're gonna rate it like a six just because it's not gonna be that easy to play you're gonna be one of those people that play vr a lot that play like puzzle games um for general fun like i said i rated i'll rate it a six because of the glitches you know i would rate it a seven or eight if uh, it wasn't for the glitches, especially the turn. If they fix the turn, I'd be a lot happier. At least that. And they can work on some of the item things. And then I've had weird things. Like at the end, I had him glitch out on a um, cutscene. But I was able to um, go back to my auto save. And then when I went to him, he did the cutscene. Even though he was just standing there like doing nothing i was like dude i can't get the key if you don't get the cuts you know go and get it for me so anyway um yeah so those are my ratings like i said family friendliness uh six and actually five six because you know we'll say family friendliness i'm gonna put it at five and then um yeah we'll just rate it in the middle i think it's the best with the glitches five five if they ever fix those glitches that I, it'd be up to a 7 or 8. Yeah. For for general fun. So five fives across. Yeah, I think it's a good rating. So anyway, thank you very much for watching my video. You guys have a great day.